can I uh, thank you very uh, good morning, very warm welcome uh, to this conference on uh, economic geography broadly defined. My name is Mark Boyle, I'm head of the Department of Geography. Uh, I'm going to say a few words of introduction in just a second and uh, start immediately into the first session in order to keep the time. But before I do so, I'd like to invite our Deputy President um, and geographer, I was going to say former geographer, but ongoing geographer, uh, Professor Jim Walsh, to say a few words for me from the university. Thanks, Mark. Uh, Say very much, geographer. Good morning, everybody. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you here to the National University of Ireland, Maynooth, uh, for this important conference. Anyway, Maynooth is situated on Ireland's second oldest higher education campus with a scholarly tradition that extends back over 200 years. And simultaneously, it is the youngest university in Ireland having been established as a fully independent university, which is a legal status similar to that of the other universities, less than 15 years ago, in 1997. Prior to that date, it had had the more constrained status of a recognised college of the National University of Ireland. Over recent years, NUI Medut had become the fastest growing and most innovative university in the Irish university system. The rate of expansion in undergraduate and postgraduate enrollments has been more than twice that of the average of the university sector, giving a total enrollment of 8,500 students drawn from over 60 countries. Within the university, the geography department, which has currently celebrated 40 years, has become one of the strongest, if not the strongest, department, with significant strengths in research and scholarship, and also in external engagement. It, and the research centres that it has fostered, is widely recognised within the national and international ac academies and also more widely amongst those involved in the formulation and implementation of policies and strategies for economic development. Most of the external engagement by the new economic geographers has over the years been channeled through the Irish branch of the Regional Study Association. Members of the department and former students have on many occasions provided leadership for the branch. They have successfully built bridges and enduring relationships between the academic world and those in the public voluntary and private sectors who struggle to grapple with the spatial dimension of Ireland's engagement with and positioning in international spatial configurations that are themselves being constantly shaped and reshaped by global forces that bring both opportunities and major challenges as is the case today. The ever increasing connectedness of places and spaces poses many conceptual and analytical challenges for academics and also major issues for the design and implementation of policies and strategies for sustainable regional development within a multi scalar framework of networks and flows that enable new webs of territorial relations to emerge. The challenges are not unique to Ireland. We can learn from international experience and from the new knowledge that researchers around the world are creating in contexts different from the current situation in Ireland. And in that regard, I particularly welcome the very distinguished international contributors to today's conference. It is, but it is not a one-way street. Ireland, through its own networks and flows, and its recognised capacity for street strategic repositioning, is an important laboratory that can enhance the potential of international research on the significance of networks and flows in understanding the dynamics of the spatial dimension in regional economic development, whether it be here or in other parts of the world. Only last week, the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins, spoke of the intellectual crisis confronting our country at this time, which he considered to be far more serious than the economic crisis. Universities and professional organisations like the Regional Studies Association, through events such as today's conference, have a critical role to play in extending the frontiers of knowledge and critiquing the sometimes taken for granted inherited wisdom, which may be no longer appropriate. I conclude by thanking Chris for the enormous effort he has put in into organising this conference and by congratulating the Regional Studies Association, especially its Irish branch, and the Geography Department for, for putting together such a stimulating programme to address a key issue in the formulation of novel and appropriate responses to the current economic crisis. In doing so, we also provide an opportunity to confront the intellectual crisis and to guide the research 
for a new paradigm that might enable the emergence of new types of spatial relationships at different territorial scales. Networks and flows of information are without boundaries in the internet world of knowledge creation. I wish you every success as you have a stimulating day and I hope you will also have some time to enjoy uh, the uh, atmosphere of the campus here in NYU. Jim's uh, uh, comments um, and uh, begin by congratulating uh, Chris Van Egert uh, for organising today's event. Uh, Chris has worked tremendously hard to put together a programme which now consists of uh, 70 delegates from a whole number of different countries uh, around the world, truly since a national gathering. And it's a Catholic gathering in the sense uh, that we have people from industrial development agencies, from local and regional authorities, uh, from think tanks, and from within the academy, we have a variety of disciplines uh, represented, including business studies, sociology, uh, geography, economics, and so on. So it's a breadth of talent and some truly world-class speakers, uh, I think, we've got today. I know it's already the event been picked up by the media, um, RTE and the Irish Times and Sunday Times and so on. The Examiner have carried articles about it, so uh, be warned, you can't say too much about the economy of Ireland without it getting uh, uh, publicity, but I guess it will stimulate some uh, wider discussion, so I think it's a, a critically important event in the media context. Uh, the event forms part of this rolling program that we're having in geography to celebrate our 40th anniversary. Uh, we're trying to pick a research theme that the department has expertise in and in a variety of events celebrate that theme. And today, of course, the theme is uh, economic geography. The department has had a, a rich history of uh, research and work in the area of economic geography led by Jim Walsh and uh, Francis Brunet, um, historically. But I'm also delighted that we have some of our alumni who have come through the NUC and are on elsewhere, also represented uh, here today, including Declan Curran um, and Edgar Morgan-Roth, who is now working at ESRI. So you're very welcome back to uh, the campus. I'd like to thank Professor Jerry Kearns, um, who has been responsible for putting together the whole package of 40th anniversary uh, celebrations. So thanks, uh, Jerry. To thank NERSA, um, the Research Institute associated with the Geography Department in this area, uh, Regional Studies Association of Ireland, uh, also for uh, supporting the event, and finally to uh, Minut's own uh, Vice President for Research, Professor Ray Neal, who has been staunch supporter of the department and who's uh, supported in a variety of ways a uh, uh, variety of uh, 40th anniversary uh, events. Okay, well, without much further ado, in order to uh, keep the time, um, we go to today's session. As you know, uh, Chris has structured the programme around a whole uh, variety of discrete themes. So we begin uh, this morning uh, by looking at uh, trade flows, export flows. We then have two sessions on innovation and knowledge flow. After lunch, uh, we'll be looking at finance capital and networks, and then we'll move to uh, discuss global production networks. Perhaps the highlight of today's event will be um, our keynote speaker, uh, Professor Henry Young, from the National University of Singapore. I'm delighted Henry's been able to, uh, to join us, and you're very welcome, uh, Henry, uh, to the campus and to, to Ireland. We're very much looking forward to giving you this one this evening. So, uh, let me call the first uh, two speakers, the first speaker, to uh, order for our first session. Um, we're beginning with um, Francis Brunac, who is member of staff, was member of staff, continues to be a member of staff in the Department of Geography here at the National University of Ireland. Francis. 